Good morning, guys. Today's issue, Barnum Brother Antiques. Lucas, shop in the heart of Ohio, starting to sale. Plus, we have an auction today. Let's go. All right, Luke, what do we got going on here, dude? What, what's good. this, huh? Well, I was, I saw this vase yesterday and I was like, oh, I really like that one. And I went back and I looked at the one I have and I was like, so do I like this one or this one more? And I was like, I think I like this purple so one. So you want to upgrade? more? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy this one and put it in my thing and take the blue one I have and put it in the whatnot for Monday. For Monday night's premium mm -hmm. picks? Wow. So Monday night's going to have a collection of ice cold in it then. In Lundberg and I. In Lundberg. That's going to be a crazy sale. How much How much is this one tagged at? 275 275 on this one. And I so paid Luke... 200 for the other one. So hopefully I can... <laughs> kind of break even? Break even. <laughs> yeah. Maybe make a little bit if you can. Okay, cool. Well, Lucas is buying. There you go. Uh, right here at the heart. First thing in the morning, Lucas coming away with his beauty right here. Let's show him it. Show him it one time. 1982. It it's older piece. It's 1982. He really likes it. He's upgrading 84. his collection. That's pretty cool. Uh, before the auction as well. Yeah. All right, guys, so we are, so, oops, we're sitting here with this nice young couple from Tennessee. They drove up to see the heart. That's so yes. awesome. So uh, what do you think so far of the heart of all? I think it's awesome. It's so incredible. I mean, I can't say much more, <laughs> except that I watch the tapes and YouTube and all that. And it's, you guys are awesome. Oh, you're, you're too so nice. It just brings so much pleasure. Nice. And this is my husband's birthday gift to me too so her birthday gift that she yes. wanted was to come to the heart of ohio from yeah. tennessee and yeah. and your husband was kind enough to say let's do it yeah. that's awesome that's johnny yeah. john <laughs> now how long are you guys uh, in town for we're going to stay the night and, and then no. we're going to come back tomorrow again okay. and then we're going to go someplace where he likes oh, uh, what do you uh, like yeah. uh give me a hobby shop in louisville tennessee okay uh, no no louisville kentucky kentucky yeah. okay yeah. 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 Nice. So you're gonna go from here to Louisville and then back home. Yes. yes. Well, that's awesome. Did you find anything so far on the trip? Uh, I found one little thing. Cool. Um, but uh, I'm still looking. Still looking. Yeah, we just got here. Oh, you just got here. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Well, it's a big place. Yeah. Well, we wanted to eat lunch, but I said let's just go down the aisle. Go first. down one aisle first. Yeah. Well, thank you again for letting me talk to you. Thank okay. you, Jay. Well, thank you. You guys are. Awesome. All right, guys, the auction is over, and I wanted to just go through and, and talk about a few of the items, the highlights of the sale. This one here was our highlight of the day. This is a signed Grant Wood, pencil signed. Um, brought $2,200, I don't know if you can see that detailing in there. $2,200 signed right here. Um, pretty cool piece, uh, plus the premium. So that puts it right at $2,600 uh, total price on it. Framed under glass. That was a, the, the most expensive piece of the today's auction. Uh, another interesting item is this over here, the floor mat. Let's go look at it. There was one floor lamp that was really like, like just uh, quality above the rest by far. Yeah. How much did it go for? So this one brought 550 bucks. But look at the dragons on this. I mean, this is so cool. Marble in the middle, dragons on the edge, claw feet. Um, I don't know if this one was signed or not. I don't remember. It says something on there. On there, I can't make it out. But this has a big purple shade on it. This is, this is the last of the floor lamps from the big lamp collection that Josh and I picked up in Springfield here. Uh, but this one would brought the most by far. It was 550 and then I'm pretty sure these were in the 250 each range, 200 to 250 each for these guys. And then this one here was only like $85 or, or somewhere in that range. Um, let me see, other highlights of the auction. Okay, so the Charles Harper prints. Let's talk about these just a minute. Charles Harper right here. We had a whole grouping of these prints and they brought from 140 to 200 dollar range for most of them so there's the owl that one brought 200. uh oh, let me get some more harpers there's a harper this one brought 180. some jewelry yeah, let's get past that this one here brought like 230. That that's a really cool one here penguin. this has the penguin on it uh the charles harper prints too they're all in packaging i'll kind of show you one real quick go back over here Go back over here. Go back. Oh, you, oh, you're recording on the, on the walk. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Well, you got to talk if you're going to do that. Well, I'm walking and talking, I guess. So right here. Here's what these Charles Charles Harper prints look like. So some were framed. A lot of them were unframed. Is that a dog? This one here was lot number 123. It is a dog. It's pencil signed. It's got the crab down here. Just really, really interesting designs on this. Uh, this one here brought 150. 150. Okay. 
Uh, the rest of these are all in these original paper packing. Uh, and this is how, this is how, we've sold several Harper collections like this before, and usually they're always like this. They'll come in paper like this, it says limited edition print on them. And then when you open them up, I'm just gonna show you the edge. Uh, this is what they look like. Okay, so like this one right here was lot 173. Uh, let's see what the price was. Ooh, 173, mm. where are you? Oh, I don't know where it's at, there it is, 173. That one brought $120. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of see the range up to 240, I think was the highest prices, 120 to 240 for most of them. Uh, what else was interesting? Oh, here's a great buy. Set of four rosewood chairs right here, only $110. Chairs. All four of them, Chinese rosewood chairs, $110, that was a bargain. Look at the quality here. I mean, they hold me up. I was sitting in them. I mean, these are absolutely fabulous, Lucas. That was a good buy. Yeah. Um, right here, let's talk about some of these lamps and lighting and stuff. We sold all of this lighting stuff through here, okay? Um, if I remember right, this piece was only like $8. That's, That's such cheap. a great buy. A lot of these bases like this were bringing $30, $40 each range. Mm -hmm. um, leaded glass windows were from like $40, $40 and $50 a piece. For this size, yeah. Uh, these guys here brought around forty dollars each. Yeah, it a Actually, little bit. really good buy. They're they're nice turn of the century frames on there. I mean, you, they just basically bought the frames, got the plaque in the middle for free. That was a great buy on those for forty a piece. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what else. Um, don't remember what this one brought. This one was I think one one sixty nine. I think that was one hundred and fifty dollars or yeah, I remember or something. Wasn't there like one fifty for that? One thirty maybe. One thirty. Oh, 160 on the wood carved. This one right here brought 160. I thought that was a good price for that guy. Uh, we used to sell these for 180 to two and a quarter all the time, but you know, in recent years, a lot of this furniture's dropped. But today, that one brought 160, so that was a good deal on that one. Uh, other interesting items. A lot. We sold a lot of jewelry today, all over the board, up to you know, from a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars. A lot of five and ten and twenty dollar items as well in the silver. I wasn't here when you sold this. Well, you remember what that one brought, the birdcage? Uh, 40 bucks? $40? Maybe 30, yeah. 30, 40 It didn't range. hit the 50 mark. Most of these oil lamps like this were in that 50 to 60 range. Uh, for these kinds, the kinds without the globes were hitting the 20 to 40. So there's a lot of really good buys on the lamps today. But this is like the fifth week in a row we've sold these things. Um, so I, that's kind of expected. Really though, this early brass and pewter stuff, Mark is very, very soft on. Uh, Peter candlesticks that we used to sell for twenty. That to 40 one sold a piece. for a dollar, I believe. One I to eight dollars is what they brought. This one here, period, uh, push-up candlestick. I mean, that's absolutely gorgeous piece. It's not even a push-up. That's more like a Queen Anne candlestick. Oh, you dropped stickers. And it only brought like eight bucks. Such great buys on the candlesticks today. Erickson glass vase, I believe, was ten dollars, um, and that's another really good one. I hope lights are going off. <laughs> Hold on, let's see what's happening here. Hillary said sorry. Oh, was that Hillary? Yeah. Oh. So anyways, the auction is over. We sold right at, one, well, we sold 1,001 lot, I believe is, was today's numbers. 1,001, 1,002. I thought it was a couple more. We had a couple A lots. We had a few A lots in there, a little over 1,000 lots. Uh, and Lucas and I are getting ready to start an up uh, to start uh, a what not auction. Uh, we've ordered food, so we're gonna have food delivered. We're gonna start a what not auction. And uh, yeah, that's the plan for the rest of the evening. That's the food. Food just walked in, that's cool. So Lucas and I are getting ready to do a whatnot sale. And let me just show you what we're gonna sell here. We're not quite sure what it's gonna be. We're gonna actually go through this jewelry and sell it live uh, on whatnot as we go through it. We're not sure what's exactly in here. This has been on the shelf for quite a while now. Um, we just haven't gotten to it. And so we thought, let's just do a whatnot sale and pull it out and sell it, see where we get to. So that's gonna be our plan here for the next hour or two while Silka finishes up the books. And uh, it's been an interesting day so far. Uh, overall, the auction the auction did well. We had up to 375-ish bidders uh, at the very end of the sale. A lot of interest in the Harper pieces like we talked about. Uh, a lot of interest in the gold. I thought the gold prices were pretty strong. Uh, sterling was up and down, some went really well and, and some uh, I thought could have brought more. But overall, you know, it was a great successful sale and uh, Lucas and Joe are learning a ton. Um, yeah, we, we got a lot of stuff happening. So uh, if you're not following us on Whatnot, make sure you guys download the app. Go to burners.com. We've got a link on our website to Whatnot. And if you go through that link, then you get a $15 coupon as well. So follow us on Whatnot. You'll see some more, a lot of live stuff. 
uh, as well from the whatnot site so uh, a lot i know a lot of you guys are asking about youtube streaming on with whatnot uh, we do stream still to facebook so if you want to watch live you can go to facebook follow us on there get notifications when we go live uh or just go to the whatnot site um either way so let me get busy with this and uh we'll come back after the sale and uh, tell you how this one did too well, Luke, our whatnot is now over. Our mm -hmm. auction is now over. What time you got? 9.12. 9.12. And we're tired. I'm tired. It's been a long day. Let's go see what your mom's doing. Let's get out of yeah. here. Uh, call tonight. You all right with that? Mm -hmm. I think so. So yeah, guys, we're going to call this a night. Uh, Lucas and I are headed out here. See what his mom's doing. Getting close. <laughs> That's kind of interesting, isn't it, huh? No. <laughs> Let's go see what silk has got going on in here. Hey, we want to know if we can go home yet. I'm ready whenever you are now. You ready? We're ready. Is the catalog up? Yeah, it's up. Catalog is up and running. That's awesome. Guys, thanks for watching our channel. Uh, you want to do our send off, Silka? Send off? I've yeah. never done that. What do I say? Go. Have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> you got to tell them to watch and like and subscribe. and Watch Burner Brother Antiques on YouTube and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an amateur <laughs> <laughs> at the YouTubing thing. That's so cool. Like, subscribe, guys. Make a lot of comments and uh, tell Silka how awesome she is. We'll talk to you later. <laughs>